Time is running out. In less than an hour, Boeing's private firefighters could be locked out of their jobs. Boeing is threatening to do that because of a pay dispute. King 5's Madison Wade is in the newsroom tonight to explain the impact. Well, Greg, expect to see firefighters picketing outside Boeing's Renton and Everett facilities as soon as midnight if they don't reach a deal with the company. Boeing says that they have a backup plan to keep their facilities staffed, and firefighters tell me they're not backing down until they get what they're asking for. Our brothers and sisters at Boeing deserve so much more than what they're getting. Firefighters from across the Pacific Northwest have been showing their support for the union representing Boeing firefighters. The aerospace company is threatening to lock out its private force of firefighters at midnight on Friday unless the union accepts the company's last offer. In a statement, Boeing says in part, with the potential for a strike, we've activated our contingency plan that includes the use of highly qualified firefighters. If a contract is not ratified by 12.01 a.m. on May 4th, we will lock out all members of the bargaining unit. A Boeing spokesperson told King 5 they would bring in other Boeing firefighters from different parts of the country if a lockout happens. The company said the two sides were far apart in negotiations. Each side accuses the other of bad faith negotiating. The company says their firefighters were paid $91,000 on average last year. But Boeing firefighters are arguing for higher wages, seeking raises of 40 to 50 percent. Boeing has about 125 firefighters in the state, both in Seattle and central Washington. Boeing has lodged a complaint with the National Labor Relations Board accusing the union of bad faith bargaining. And again, Greg, we are less than an hour away from this deadline. We'll keep you updated as we approach the deadline.